Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kaya. If you're new, if you're not new, what's up? You already know what it is. I'm back again today with another video. And in today's video, I am going to be doing another wig review. Um, the wig that I am reviewing today is by Motown Trust. The wig that I am reviewing is in the style LDP Polo. So it is a very blonde wig. The color that I got is T27 613. It's um, probably like a little slight curl action going on at the end. So we go from like straight to like a flip out curl. I'm really hoping that the curl is not going to be too ex extra because I'm not trying to look like freaking what is that 60s 70s 70s hairstyle I don't want that so this comes in with a four inch deep part lace this is a lace front wig um let's see it has a j curve lace part so it's a little bit of a curve in that in the parting it's supposed to be very natural looking so I'm lit for that it has oh and look at there, gave me the, the finishing length. The length is about 13 to 19 inches long, depending on who you are, I'm guessing. Um, is curling iron safe from the packaging? You can use up to 400 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and pop this baby open and see what she's about. All right, y'all, I had to go and get out of that shirt. I was hot. I was trying to um, wear that, but I was like, nah, I gotta get out of that shirt. It's too hot for that. So um, I just threw on a tank top. The wig had lace on it. I went ahead and cut the lace off. So right now I'm just getting vibes of it just being like just a little curly. I do feel like if I actually decide to wear this wig out, I would, you know, curl it myself some more just to give it the waves and curl that I want. Um, I like the texture of the hair. The hair feels really good. It's like a thick consistency. 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 It's a thick consistency. You look into the inside and they do have combs. The combs are more so like definitely on the sides of the hair. The inside you have a comb in the back and adjustable straps. Not going to touch the adjustable straps because it actually looks kind of big. Like big friendly. Big head friendly. So I'm definitely going to lead it like it is. So I'm going to show you guys what the parting looks like. That's what the part looks like. It's visible, but we need it to look a little bit more, you know, like it's coming from my roots, like it's growing out of my head. So I'm just going to add just like a tad bit of powder and see what that does. But I think I'm going to have to do a little bit more to this part. I personally feel like this wig is just a little bit, um, I feel like this wig is just a little bit wiggy looking. Um, I do think that it can look more real the more I play with it and, you know, just adjust it a little bit, give it maybe like a little bit of edges here and there, pluck the part, give it a little bit more color. It just looks wiggy to me right now because I kind of just like put it on my head and you know just went with it. It's extremely blonde and I feel like with the season that's coming you can wear blonde but it all depends on what outfit you place it with. So I personally would wear this wig for sure. I just have to play with this area because this area right here is giving me very wig vibes like straight wig vibes like not natural looking so definitely 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 got to play with that but all in all guys this is a really nice quality wig um i really like the hair texture it's like it's not shiny and silky and sleek but it gives you like like real hair vibes you know like everyone's hair is not always naturally silky and shiny and stuff you know i personally feel like it's very fitted to my head without the adjustable straps um i don't mind that because i also feel like it's very secure of course someone if they were trying to could snatch it off if they try real hard but i don't feel like this is a wig that will like really necessarily require a tape or glue i don't really know how like to explain it i just feel like you don't really need to make sure this wig is super secure as long as you ain't doing nothing crazy to make it fly off i don't think that's really necessary with this wig i'm gonna show you guys what the back looks like definitely think you should try it out if you want to try it out probably if you aren't like feeling the blonde get something black because they do have black um 
black options so more on the black or brown side instead of blonde i personally love blonde hair but um this one i definitely got to play with a little bit more because i've tried this exact color before um I'll, I'll actually put that in the description box below as well so you can check that video out um but i just think that this one is just like a little just a little like something something i got to you know just fidget with but other than that i actually really like it and i definitely think you guys should try it out i got it from wig types so check them out um i do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe and comment if you have any questions i will answer them below um i do hope you guys enjoyed the video and i do thank you so much for watching today's video but until next time i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys